People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. Hello and welcome to Noonday Prayer on today, the 5th of January. I'm Rosie Addis and I'm the Associate Rector at St John's Episcopal Church on Princess Street in Edinburgh. Welcome. Today, here at St John's, we remember Sarah, Theodora and Syncletica, 4th century monastics. Sarah, Theodora and Syncletica are the three desert mothers, or Amas, whose sayings are included in the 5th century, the sayings of the F desert fathers. The collection includes a total of 47 sayings attributed to these three women. The sayings relate that Amasera lived beside a beautiful river for 60 years, yet never lifted her eyes in distraction from prayer to look at it. She often said, if I pray to God that all people should approve of my conduct, I should find myself a penitent at the door of each one, but I shall rather pray that my heart may be pure towards all. Many people came to visit her seeking spiritual gut advice. On one occasion, some monks came to her claiming to be from the highly regarded community of Skitus, and she offered them a fruit basket of fruit from which they took the rotten fruit and let the good fruit for others to eat. She said to them, you are true monks. At another time, some elderly monks, considered to be great anchorites, came to see her hoping to humiliate her and shame her. They came to her and said, be careful not to become conceited because we great anchorites are coming to see you, a mere woman. Amma Sarah only replied, according to nature, I am a woman, but not according to my thoughts. It is I who am a man and you are a wo woman. Amma Theodora was the wife of a Roman tribune but after his death, she retired to the desert to leave, live an ascetic life. She was consulted by many people for her wisdom on prayer. According to one of her teachings, those who set their minds to pray are often overcome with distraction, depression, faint heartedness or headaches. But she relates the story of how a certain monk, every time he felt too ill to pray, declared, Clearly I am very near death and so I should get up and pray right now before I die. In this way he resisted temptation. Yet Amma Theodora also stressed that temptations can only be overcome through humility rather than through asceticism. For even the de demons fast and keep vigil and live in deserted places, but they do not have humility. Amma Syncletica lived a life of asceticism, asceticism in a tomb in Alexandria. She wrote, If you find yourself in a place, do not forsake it to go to another place, for that will harm you a great deal. Just as a bird who abandons the eggs that she was sitting on prevents them from hatching, so too a monastic grows cold and her faith dies when she wanders from one place to another. She also taught that it was possible to live a spiritual life within secular society, but not only as a monk or a nun. There are many who live in the desert, yet behave as though they were in town, and they are wasting their time. It is possible to be a monastic in one's mind while living in a crowd, and it is also possible for a monastic to live in a crowd amidst her own thoughts. Blessed be God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with words from Psalm 119. You have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was humbled, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The arrogant smear me with lies. 
but with my whole heart I keep your precepts. Their hearts are fat and gross, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was humbled, so that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Fix our hearts on you, O God, in pure devotion, that aided by the example of your servants Sarah, Theodora and Syncletica, the vain pursuits of this world may have no hold upon us, and that by the consuming fire of your Spirit we may be changed into the image and likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you in the same Spirit be all honour and glory, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her animals. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servant girls. She calls from the highest places in the town. You that are simple, turn in here. To those without scent, she said, Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Lay aside immaturity and live and walk in the way of insight. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. A reading from Mark. Some Sadducees, who said there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. There were seven brothers. The first married and when he died left no children. And the second married her and died leaving no children. And the third likewise. None of the seven left children. Last of all the woman herself died. In the resurrection whose wife will she be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, Is not this the reason you are wrong? that you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the story about the bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are quite wrong what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory. The glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. God became human so that we might become human, truly human, let us therefore journey to discover who God created us to be and let us make a step forward on this journey by confessing how we have obscured, harmed, violated and negated the beauty of our own humanity and of the humanity of others. 
Let us confess our sins. God, you loved us into being, but we do not accept your love for us and rebel against you, our eternal lover. Lord, have mercy. God, your love took on flesh and lived among us, but we will not recognise it and preferred our existence in darkness and sin. Christi eleison. Christ, have mercy. God, in love you bind us to you and to one another, but our greed, entitlement, complacency and self-importance keep us from loving you, from loving ourselves and from loving our neighbours, whoever they are. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. May God, who is both power and love, forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by the Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Mighty Saviour, who at noonday called your servant St Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. In joy and humility, let us pray to the creator of the universe, saying, Lord, grant us peace. By the good news of our salvation brought to Mary by the angel, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the mystery of the word made flesh, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the birth in time of the timeless Son of God, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the manifestation of the King of glory to the shepherds and the Magi, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the submission of the Maker of the world to Mary and Joseph of Nazareth, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the baptism of the Son of God in the River Jordan, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. Grant that the kingdoms of this world may become the kingdom of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. In a moment of silence, we bring before you our own prayers and intercessions, our own praises and thanksgivings. Uniting our prayers into one, we pray in the words our Saviour Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. May all the earth be filled with his glory. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true hearted. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, evermore. Amen.